Hey, JC Agajanian here, broker associate with eXp, top grossing agent with the Whistle Realty Group, summarizing for you the mastermind that the Fast Forward Network put together for us each week. Let's get straight into it. All right, time to recap another Monday morning mastermind with the top agents in the business. And today we covered a handful of various topics um, posed by various realtors on the call and um, top dogs weighed in and I gave us their opinion. So the first one is, you know, very basic and super appropriate in the market we're in right now. How are you getting off market properties for your buyers? Um, one of the first uh, responses that we received was actually a shout out from another agent who had referred one of their clients basically across the country to another one of the team leaders, buyer's agents. And um, that buyer's agent is going all out. They are door knocking regularly to find um, properties for specific buyers. Now, this is a lot of grunt work. It's a lot of time and effort, but boy, does it pay off when things come together. Of course, you find, you, you solve the problem. You find a property in best case scenario for that buyer, but there's so much more benefit that comes from it. Of course, you're gonna have the opportunity to double in that property if it's not on the market because you're the one doing the door knocking. And you're also gonna have a lot of seller leads that maybe aren't a quite the right fit for that buyer, or maybe the timing isn't quite the right fit for that seller, but boy, digging up a lot of sellers who maybe aren't ready to go right away, but in the near future are, you get them on a nice nurture, and eventually that's gonna be a listing appointment and another property to take down. Um, another idea was the tried and true circle prospecting. You, you pull in a list around that property that the client wants or that area, and you smile and dial. Um, you can, Expedite that if you've got some tools and tech at your disposal. We use um, a couple pieces of information to automatically drop voicemails into the, uh, the mailboxes of the, the database that we pull in. Um, and it never even rings. It goes straight into their voicemail. We've also got a way to do the same thing with text messages and emails. Um, but the good old fashioned smiling and dialing is effective. Um, on that topic, when you're just dialing cold like that, a huge tip was to go ahead and make sure to mention your specific buyer's name. Um, it gives a lot more credibility and makes you seem less like you're a, a disingenuous type of agent and more of a, a serious buyer's agent looking to solve a problem for your specific buyer. Um, another idea on that topic was to go ahead and pour through really old expires. We're gonna go through a year or two or more um, and the way to do that is just to, to conduct a search just like you would on the MLS anyways, using the same filters and criteria for your buyer. But um, we're going back in time. And then dig those people up, call them up. They did have interest in selling at one point, and it wasn't that long ago in the context of things. And given the last few years market appreciation, that seller either didn't get what they wanted at the time and likely can now, or now could probably get even more than they had in mind back then. So that's another good way to go about it. So another uh, question that was brought up was, how are we gonna grow our business in a meaningful way? How are we gonna compound it? How are we gonna really get it moving to the next step? And so um, Dan Beer brought up uh, some really interesting points that he just learned from uh, his high level Tony Robbins membership that he's got. He just got back from uh, a seminar with him. And there's a lot of talk about incremental improvements. So for example, figure out how many leads you're getting on a weekly, monthly, yearly basis, and maybe go for a 20% improvement on that mark. Figure out what you're going to have to do to increase that number by 20%. And then you go through all the other metrics that hopefully you're, you're measuring. And if not, um, it's important to start measuring, like how many leads did you speak to? So conversations after leads generated, right? So we can maybe increase that by 3%. Um, then we're moving in the right direction. Direction, how many of those conversations resulted in appointments? Well, let's try and raise that by 7%. And then we can see an incremental increase from con conversations to appointments. And then what about those show rate? Do you know your show rate? Well, let's figure out what we need to do to increase that show rate. What kind of value, what kind of reminders, video messages are something that I always do ahead of, um, whether it's just a phone call, a Zoom or an in-person meeting um, to make sure that person knows there's a live person and it's not just some call center. I'm here, I'm local, 
this is what I look like. I'm looking forward to meeting you soon. Um, we need to see if we can increase that by 10%. Um, and then out of those that actually showed up, agreed to work with you, how many are you actually closing? These are all like, it's a, for a lot of people, it could be a research project. But if this is out of left field for you, go ahead and get into it. This is going to give you the nuts and bolts of your business. Um, so if we can show those, increase those closings by just three and a half percent, um, we're going to be moving in the right direction. And finally, the average fees that you're collecting. On the buy side, it's tough to, uh, to adjust that because you're really just working with um, what is offered from that listing agent. But if you can improve upon your, um, your listing presentation, the, the, you know, get a full commission charge each time, present that value, you can increase your paycheck dramatically without actually increasing the volume of transactions that you do. Um, if we can get that up 8%, it will accumulate all these things together, believe it or not, will compound upon each other and they can increase your production by 100%. Um, it's a big deal. So uh, there's another um, topic that came up on that kind of dovetailing on the same uh, idea of in, in pre increasing your productivity. Um, and Tina Call, um, kick-ass agent, she mentioned the five for five. I don't know if this is a old hat to you or something you never heard of before, but the idea of having five new conversations, five days a week. Um, and those are not conversations with a follow-up lead or someone you've already talked to or your buddy. Uh, these are new people you've never spoken to before. So um, if you can get five new conversations a day for five days in a week in a row, and then you keep that up, you know, easier said than done, but that's the goal here. Um, you know, your, your conversations per year will increase dramatically. That, that, could, that alone, the five for five, could result in 1,300 conversations. And depending on your closing rate, um, boy, the numbers really get big. So let's say you have a poor closing rate and or maybe not poor, but a lower than, than amazing at like 3%. Well, that five for five would result in 39 deals on the year. 5%, 75 deals. 8%, 104 deals. And if you have a 10% close rate, that's 130 deals from five for five. That's crazy. But it's effective, and if you boil it down, most of this business is about the numbers. So who are these five new people? Well, it's up to you, really, but you got to figure out what is easiest and most enjoyable for you to figure out. So uh, whether it's social media, if you're the person who that comes easy to, you're super busy on there, and you're not just a voyeur watching what other people are doing, but you're interacting, you're posting, um, you're driving conversations and content, you can take those offline and make them into a more meaningful conversation business owners, reaching out to them, dial a list, you know, marketing, cold leads, whatever it is, figure out what your niche is going to be and hammer in on that five for five. Um, you know, overall, the answer is just to pick the, the, the source that makes the most sense to you that you're good with and run with it. Um, something else that came up with was just kind of a one-off question, but more of a comment, charge your admin fee. Charge the damn admin fee. A lot of people are afraid to tell their buyers specifically and, and sometimes sellers too that there's an office admin fee that comes with our services above and beyond the commission. With buyers, it's pretty easy. You're not charging any commission. The only thing your company charges is a small admin fee if and when you buy a house. We don't need any of your money up front. Um, for sellers, what I always do is just write it in underneath the commission. It says percentage and, and you just write in the number and it's, it's not even an issue. People, if it comes up, say, oh, yeah, that's an admin fee our company charges. Well, guess what? Let's say you're doing 20 deals a year. You know, I charge $5.95 for my admin fee. Um, if, I, if I don't charge $5.95 on those 20 deals, it's almost $12,000 I'm losing out on in a year. It's a big deal. I mean, it's a whole other commission in a, in a lot of cases, depending on your price point. So get comfortable with charging the admin fee. And if you don't have it, any reason why um, beyond, and if it's an issue, if you feel uncomfortable defending it, well, figure out what the value is that you're presenting and um, how to present it in, in, in order to defend that, that admin fee. Um, another interesting topic was about finding your voice. Um, this is primarily when we're talking about marketing 
and and most likely uh, video, whether it's a quick, you know, uh, webcam video or your phone, or if it's something like more high production value with green screen or whatever it may be, um, stop making your message plain vanilla. You know, get there's a great book on the topic called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller, and um, you know, the main idea behind finding your voice here is that the human brain is designed to conserve energy and, and work as efficiently as possible. So you need to have, um, you know, have inter you need to have it exciting. You need to stimulate activity and get the brain thinking right away. So um, a good idea is to figure out what the problem is that you're speaking to, figure out who the prospect is that you're speaking to, and put that problem in the hook in the beginning, make it interesting, and then follow up with how you have the solution to that problem in the video clip or in whatever it is you're, you're producing. So um, that's the recap, uh, the majority of what we spoke about, and I hope you found it helpful. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you found it valuable and that there's something in there that you can implement into your business today. Uh, if you'd like more information, I'd love to be a resource for you. I'd also love to connect you with the mastermind directly if you'd rather see that instead of catching my recaps. And if you're interested in joining the Fast Forward Network, DM me here and I'll hook you up. Talk to you soon.